r slash no sleep posted by you slash short story one never put a doorbell on the inside of your front door as a joke i fixed the doorbell on the inside of the front door house instead of being on the outside for outside visitors to use my wife didn't see the humor but my kids had a good laugh about it when i closed the door my youngest child pressed the doorbell as she pressed the doorbell someone on the outside a stranger opened the door even though it was fully locked we were all shocked hello can i help you this person asked us why did you ring the doorbell the stranger asked us but we gave no answer as we were all shocked i don't like pranksters so stop ringing the doorbell the stranger shouted at us i then put more doorbells inside my bedroom door and did the same for my children's bedroom doors but on the inside when i pressed the doorbell inside my bedroom door that same stranger would open the door as if it was his house and he shouted at me saying you again stop pressing the doorbell. And my kids were also pressing the doorbell which I built inside their bedrooms. I will be honest my kids were enjoying it a bit too much. They would constantly press the doorbell inside their bedroom doors and the stranger who opens the door was getting more angrier each time and started threatening us. Whenever this stranger closed the door, he would be nowhere to be seen when I went out to look for him. I made like a necklace doorbell and my eldest child wore it around her neck. When my youngest child pressed the doorbell around my eldest child's neck, that same stranger opened up her chest like it was a door. Right that's it I've had it. The stranger shouted and he then grabbed my youngest child and took her with him as he closed my eldest child's chest. I couldn't believe what I had witnessed. I have been trying to ring every doorbell which I fixed on the insides of every door in my house, this stranger isn't answering anymore. My eldest daughter then shouted that she could feel her younger sister banging against her chest inside her own body. I could feel it as well and a little scream. What have I done? The next story of this video. How dare you die in the middle of your shift? Tommy how dare you die during the middle of your shift and how dare you miss work and for using the lame excuse of dying as a reason to miss work. All those people at your funeral who were crying and saying nice things about you Tommy but I didn't as I was straight to the point. I shouted at your dead body to come back to life and to get back to work. When you first signed the work contract. There was a clause where it read all employees are not allowed to die and have to keep on working forever for eternity. You completely broke the contract by dying Tommy. Get back to work Tommy and it is absolutely unacceptable to abandon work short notice even if it is for dying. How am I meant to replace you now under such short times? Tommy you are inconsiderate for dying in the middle of your shift and putting more stress on your co-workers. I'm digging you up now Tommy and I am now breaking your coffin and as I shout at you by saying stop being dead and come back to life you asshole. Stop being lazy and stupid and get back to work. But you just stay dead. Do you not have any honor or self respect as you just stay dead and you owe it to the company to do even more shifts for hardly any pay. You owe your co-workers, you owe me and you owe the company. Tommy stop being dead and get back to work and stop being a spineless thing and be something useful. You have made the company lose some profits because of your death Tommy, how could you allow yourself to die like that Tommy? I have now got a Ouija board so I could contact you to come back to work and as I can see you as a ghost now moving the cup, I don't appreciate it how you tell me to fuck off. I also don't appreciate how think that being dead frees you from working and that you just want to rest in peace. Tommy there is no such thing as rest in peace and there is only work and that goes for death as well. Get back to work Tommy the whole shift pattern has been ruined because of you and I don't appreciate you breaking stuff at work as you are now a ghost, that will now be a disciplinary. The final story of this video. I love being possessed by an evil demon. I love being possessed and I got possessed last year by some ancient demon of the underworld. I wandered into some abandoned area and then I got attacked by this thing. It felt weird at first when my body was being overtaken by this demon and I was so frightened. My mind now had make room for another more sinister mind and I knew my life would never be the same. I remember running to random places at such speed and sometimes even flying. It was at that point I started to enjoy it and I thought to myself it's not that bad being possessed. I had been enlightened and everything seemed new again and I would do things in such nonchalant way. I could distort my face and bend my body in impossible ways. I went up to some couple walking on the street and I charged at them screaming in multiple voices and pounded my fist through their flesh. The human and me enjoyed the killing and ferociousness of it all. I liked the hatred and ungodly thing about it all and I felt free. It was the small things I liked when going into a shop and taking what I liked, the shopkeeper then freaking out when he saw my eyes. I had to stay away from any kind of church that worshipped the Abrahamic God or any artifact relating to it. When I went home my parents were glad that I was safe as I was gone for a long time. I looked normal enough for them for the time being. 
I enjoyed floating and sitting on the ceiling and when my mother found out she screamed but I didn't care and she just had to accept it. When robbers came by I floated down to them and they were so scared. I opened the door for them. If they wanted to rob my house they would now have to be guests first. I did weird demonic things and they were so petrified and I was enjoying every bit of it. One of the robbers started praying but I told him God has left them and I started to chop them up and reconnect and swap their limbs with each of the robbers bodies. My parents were just hiding in their room praying to God but I forced them to pray to Satan. Then even the demon in me said I was going too far and that I was taking advantage of the strengths I have gained because of this demon possessing me. The things is, I don't care and I'm not letting the demon get out. I'm wearing a special magical necklace which will make it impossible for the demon to leave my body.